Great injustice is threatening our very existence. Where are the people? Why do they not speak? Are they patriots? Do they love freedom? Do they like justice? Do they value safety and peace? Do they take the safety of their children for granted? Do they like excellent and swift medical care? Do they enjoy freedom of worship? Do they have freedom of choice to live the way they live, to, to, to choose where they live, to choose their vocation, to have access to outstanding education? Are the restaurants and grocery stores full of food? Do the people enjoy every kind of entertainment and fun? Arts and orchestras and opera and symphony? Is there freedom to hike and run and play on the beaches in safety? So the great question is, is this way of life threatened? Could it be possible that it could change, that it could be taken away? Will the people watch it disappear and do nothing? What is the truth in this hour? The truth sets us free. So can we recognize the truth? Will we recognize the truth in time? Where is the voice of the people? Is the nation one of the people, by the people, and for the people? Then let the people stand up and speak. Let them make their love of their nation and their freedom be known. Let them voice their choice. Let them sing of freedom. Let them rejoice in the safety of their children and work to preserve that safety. Let them seek for truth and then act on it. There must be a rising up in this hour. There must be an awakening in this hour. Justice must be sought and grasped and prayed for and talked about and insisted upon. We must pursue, overtake, and recover for that which we love is in jeopardy. Let us rush to the defense of justice. Let the voices rise from sea to shining sea in a great tumultuous cry for freedom and justice. Let the voices of freedom shout and ring. Let the freedom bells ring. For the Lord loves justice. He will not forsake his saints. The righteous shall be preserved forever, but the children of the wicked shall be cut off. The righteous shall possess the land and dwell upon it forever. This is the promise of the Lord in Psalm 37. Will we possess the land? Do we possess our land? For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, 1 Samuel, and he has set the world upon them. For he will guard the feet of his saints, but the wicked shall be silent in darkness. For by no strength shall man prevail. For by strength no man shall prevail. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken in pieces. From heaven he will thunder against them. The Lord will judge justice, the righteous judge. He will judge the ends of the earth. So leaders, intercessors, those who are patriots, who love their way of life and their nation and who love the truth, now is the time to cry aloud and release faith. There's a great awakening. Revival is coming. So we want to invite you to begin to gather together and celebrate the glory of the Lord. Join us for Bound for Glory Firestorm Houston, June 24th through 26th in Houston, Texas. Celebrationministries.com. Registration is free. We want to join together and celebrate the Lord, the God of justice, and we want to see His glory and His awakening outpoured. Join us. Join us as we pray and we cry aloud for freedom and justice in this hour.